Hello, Mrs. Zum here, and today I just feel like logging and chatting, but I do want to talk about being careful who you cape for, who you windmill for, who you vouch for on and off social media. It's a lot going on on YouTube, on and off YouTube, and there's a lot of relationships that was once mended in the guise of friendship that's no longer and it's becoming messy situations like you could cape for someone you could windmill for someone and then you could go up against your friend's enemies and I've seen this happen, like in real life, off off social media. Like I've seen this happen. <clears throat> Person caping for their friend. You know, you got a best friend. You gonna you gonna cape for him. You gonna defend him no matter what. And then that friend that you windmill for end up kissing them op's ass opposition enemies whatever they end up making amends with the ops without like even letting you in on it and then you're just you're stuck there and you're you have to face the things you say said or have said the things you may have done Windmilling for your friend. Now you're stuck there with the consequences. And there are quite a few people out here in limbo stuck with the consequences of what they've said and what they've done. Just be careful who you care for, even even if it's your friend. I would say investigate the matter a little further. Step back. Um choose your words carefully. Don't say Anything that you might regret that you know you can't take back. So, yeah, there's quite a few things like that going on. People who value <laughs> their true self, who they are. I know someone who was windmilling for her bestie. Windmilling for her bestie on Instagram. Um. <clears throat> Um, I guess her besties, baby father, girlfriend, windmilling, even talk ish about the woman's uh, daughter. The daughter even jumped in on it. And this adult called this minor, the daughter, like all kinds of hoes, like your mama's a hoe, you ain't nothing, you a thief, blah, blah, blah. Said all kinds of shit. Windmilling for her friend, right? Keep in mind, she windmilling for her friend on social media, going hard for her bestie. Come to find out, then turn around, and even her friend's kids got in, in on it. Turn around later on. The bestie, the bestie children, don't already try to make amends with those people. And the friend doing the windmilling don't even know. Now she's stuck and faced with the things that was said, that was written. Like, you know, because, you know, they was battling out in words, honey, typing and going on. You can't take that back. And, you know, things have been recorded, screenshotted, whatever have you. Whether it's gone or not, it's still there. And now, fast forward, now those people don't daggone try to, actually, I won't say they made amends with those people, but they're trying to kiss their asses, okay? The kissing ass hard. That I do know. 
So now the friend windmilling is stuck with the consequences of probably getting her ass whooped by the other baby mama. You get what I'm saying? By her friend. Her bestie don't already try to kiss their ass and try to make things up without her knowledge. You see what I'm saying? So just be careful who you windmill for out here in these streets. Take a step back. Assess what's going on. Because at the end of the day, we all don't really know each other. I always say this, and I'll continue to say it again. You have no friends on YouTube. You have no friends on YouTube. Don't be careful and be cautious, even off YouTube, or who you call friend. Or who you call friend. Saw a situation this weekend. Somebody I used to be subscribed to. Sitting there crying on her life and had to tell her people she lied to them because she was defending a friend. Now, she actually met this person, you know, met off YouTube. And just because you meet up with someone doesn't mean you really know. Them, you know what I mean? And the other person clearly made it be known that. He ain't trying to make friends. He, he ain't trying to make friends. He trying to make a coin. He constantly say that. He have no friends. He have co-workers. He constantly says that. So I guess something happened. And this person got in her feelings. She did a live. She was crying. She said she lied to her people. She defended this guy. And, 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 and um... He, she did something while she was there. She showed up at somebody's job, and he was like, "I ain't got nothing to do with that, do I?" She said, "She, she said no. She left him out of the, of what her and this other person did, and come to find out, she showed receipts of this guy pointing out where this other woman lived at, and him, I guess, doxing. So you see what I mean? You see what I'm saying?" People could be friends one minute and mortal enemies the next. People could sit there and give each other love mail, do a uh, windmill for them. And if another YouTuber come against them, they sitting there on videos windmilling for them and everything. And then they could become enemies. They could turn around and call you, 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 call you all kinds of fat bees and stand your ass up and go viral and all kinds of bullshit. i see a lot on here. That's why I always say you have no friends when you need to guard your heart. Guard your heart because you sit here being gullible when your heart on the sleeve is going to be stomped and trampled on by people on here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying be mean, I'm not saying you can't socialize, but you also can't be too. You can't be too open. You gotta, you gotta guard yourself from certain things. You can't be too open and too loose and too free. You feel what I'm saying? Because they'll, they'll tell all your business, honey. One minute you doing a greet, meet and greet with people you think you cool with and you could relate to. The next minute, honey, they calling you pissy and all kinds of names on here and all kinds of nicknames because you don't did this. You got a little too loose and too free. And too much of yourself, okay? And the moment you all get into it, you all kinds of homeless, you all kinds of pissy, you all kinds of drunk. I'm just saying. Be careful over here. You go in these meet and greets, be careful. Try not to reveal a little bit too much of yourself that you would with your girlfriends. Okay, if a lot of people here don't really have friends. Like, I have friends. I have best friends. I've been friends with for years. That I could go on the phone or I could text and be like, girl. That none of y'all know anything about. 
Okay? So that that it is what it is. Um just know just be careful who you women for. You can't be a certain age and call everybody your friend. Cause they're not. Okay? You got no friends on here. You have no friends on here. You have peers. Um I won't necessarily say co-workers, but mostly peers. Colleagues, whatever. Peers, colleagues. You want to call them co-workers, co-workers then. And that's basically it. And another thing. When you go on trips with people you don't know or you go you do these meet and greets with people on YouTube, make sure you have money to go. Make sure you have enough money for transport, for food, for lodging, and extra money just in case you want to get souvenirs and you want to, you know, check out the sites of the city. Make sure you do that and you don't got nobody paying nothing for you. Now, they insist, that's on them. But make sure you got your money and got your shit together. Because you, you would never live that down. If I can't afford to go, I don't need to go. I don't give a F if someone sponsor or offer to pay my way. Don't fall for that trap because you'll never live that down. I don't care how nice they are. The moment, the moment you get into it with that person, the moment you say something that they don't like or they disagree with, even if it ain't about them, they're going to bring up how the fact that they paid your way. They paid for this. They paid for that. You was a bum bitch. They paid for your clothes. They took you shopping. Don't go nowhere with no money. Even if they insist, just say, you know, just keep declining. And no, I, I can't go. I'm sorry. Make something up. Don't go. Because you might. Live to regret it. They sit here doing videos about your ass and remember, even if they delete it, it stays out here. What you put out on on cyberspace stays out here. Even if you delete it. They linking your name to certain things. They nicknaming you, putting your picture up. It's all over Google. And social media. So be careful with that. Don't go nowhere with no money. I hate going places. When I ain't got no money. Even if, if the person says. And say oh we'll, we'll, we'll help you. It's not worth it. You will suffer. Trust. You will suffer. I learned my lesson. I can speak from experience. Didn't happen often. Wasn't going to let it happen often. In this situation, this was like a church thing, but that, that's, a long, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. But the BS that was going on with that. But mm -mm, don't get st st stuck nowhere with no money. Even if somebody offered to pay, don't get, don't go nowhere with no money. Period. I always had a rule when I was dating. I'm gonna at least have enough money in my purse for a cab. A cat ride home. I never go on a date 
broke. If I ain't got no money, I won't go. And don't get it twisted. It ain't like I pay for dates or whatever like that. Like sometimes I will offer to pay. I like my treat. It's on me. You know, after they take me out for a while. But sometimes I'll say it's my treat. So I, don't, I don't mind treating, treating a man or, you know, whoever my way at the time. I don't mind treating. That's just how I am. But I always have a rule. I never go on a date with no man. I'm going I'm to at least have 20 bucks in my purse. Enough for a cat ride home or whatever. Because baby, if they get mad, they could leave you stranded somewhere. Same thing when you go on trips with strangers on YouTube. Everybody not your friend. You can't possibly be that gullible. When you're a certain age. You can't be that gullible to think everybody is your friend. They're not. This is my high school. This is not winning a popularity contest. And that's the problem. A person should know better when you're at a certain age. And I'm 45 now. I'm 45 years old. I got some stories. You get a certain age. You know, in our youth, we make lots of mistakes. So, when you get my age, we know better. At my age, we should be wiser. Not saying that we still don't make mistakes. But we should be a lot wiser than we were 10, 20 years ago. If not, and still doing the same thing and having the same mindset, something not right. There's just certain basic things you should know. Over years of experience, there's certain things you should be more wiser about. Like, you just don't go anywhere with no money. You don't go on trips with no money. That's when discernment comes in to play at. You know, there's a lot of people running around claiming to be prophets. I don't understand how they don't see that coming. Because part of a trait of a prophet is discernment. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some people wear the title and some people live it. It's a lifestyle. But anyway. That's all I have to say for right now. I'm not trying to go around poking bears. I'm on my platform right now speaking from my perspective. Someone giving me feelings and giving me feelings. I really don't give a damn. If you don't want people in your business, don't put your business out here for everybody to see. Okay? No one person have a monopoly over YouTube. Anyway, that's all I have to say for right now. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.